It's been a long five months since we last had a full travel day for the channel. Y'all, and it couldn't be the most amazing place. We're finally going to a new continent, but we got a long journey, so. Vamanos to New York first. and our flight's about to fly out at 8.30 when we start departing. Boarding? We depart at 9.20. Hopefully they don't delay it after it already being delayed for an hour. So we are gonna be, you know, arriving there around one o'clock in the morning, but technically two o'clock in the morning, Iceland, they're five hours ahead of us, so it'll be, seven o'clock in the morning on Monday which means that we're gonna be up for about more than 24 hours <laughs> oh there was a back way Here in Iceland. We tired. We've been away for more than 24 hours and we probably have a little bit more left to go. Yeah, it is. Legit Dr. Pepper. Y'all, y'all ready to see our home for the next couple of days? It's a two in one. So our goal with the rental is be able to tour a little bit more of this beautiful country and just stay in um, campsites. So hopefully we have access to some restrooms and some showers. So we, before, you know, we started filming all these videos, we took a quick nap inside this, this van here just to see how it's gonna turn out, you know, how, if we're gonna like sleeping in here or not. And if we're, you know, luckily we, I feel comfortable. So the cool thing about the van, it has a heater system, right? So it doesn't have to, the vehicle doesn't have to be on for, us to have a heater system. It's pretty chilly, I feel like. You know, it's like crisp and chilly because it's pretty gloomy. It's supposed to be like this the entire time we're here. And I figured we're going to be like, you know, mm -hmm. no, I don't even feel like we're going to need that, which, you know, we're those type of people that sleep with three sources of freaking cold on our faces. Our goal was just to sleep for one hour and we ended up sleeping for four hours because, I mean, there are options in renting vehicles around here in Iceland. Uh, we chose the basic one where you can go to the common roads. But I mean, if you want to go to like to the upper mountain, you are required and recommended to take the 4x4, which may cost a little bit more. Long story short, Iceland is expensive. So if you're budget traveling, you know, right, like us, which you'll see the cost of this per day here um and for those that are wondering if i'm complaining about how expensive it is y'all know how i'm planning on making it or we planning on making it sopita huevona okay guys it wouldn't be creating Mario if we didn't start the first day on the trip to an insane hike. 
Oh, we're going to see uh, some lava fields real quick. No, we're going to go see an erupting volcano. Okay, so we're going to see either erupting volcano or lava field. Because there's actually two different uh, there's actually two different options. One, you can actually see a erupting volcano. And two, you can actually see the lava field. The words, we don't understand what they meant. They, all we saw was option A or B. And one was four hour, like a three hour trail. And the other one was a, uh, how long? An hour and a half. So we decided to do the hour and a half. Because, I mean, it's kind of late throughout the day. And it will get dark by what? then. No, we're doing the four hour one. Okay, we'll do the four hour one. I layered up, right? One thing that we kept reading was how unpredictable the weather is. I'm hot nature, I'm sweating, but I layered up because I never know. <laughs> I was gonna say, I just layered off. Later. Layered off. I'm hot nature. This weather feels like a December in Texas. <laughs> People are like suited up like it's freezing. Maybe I'm just fit. <laughs> Cause I don't see really much people out here. We see coming people coming back, but we don't see people going. Maybe we'll have the whole place to ourselves. Fingers crossed. How do you feel? <laughs> I always hate you when we do these hikes. I feel like walking backwards. This is hard on my knees. raining so it cools us off because I mean, it's a 45 minute trail we're actually at the very dead end where you can see all this lava here that's flowing going to the very bottom of it oh it's kind of clearing up now you can, I don't know if you can see the quality you can see some of the smoke from the water you know going through at the bottom I never thought that we would actually ever get to see this kind of stuff up close I mean at first I'm like ah, it's just lava but after seeing it in person it's awesome it's, a, it's cool how it trails down like that and we're gonna go a little bit further up so we can actually see hopefully the volcano where all the lava is coming out here we go we made it to the top wants to continue on moving up but we're still at the very top as you can see all the smoke here Karina said we should find a volcano at the very top oh yeah <laughs> that's not close she's saying we're this close and it's way over there I'm not in shape for this but we're still doing it That wouldn't have been good. As you can see, that helicopter is right above the crater. Okay. There's no trails here now, it's just all walking around the mountain. Here we go, we're just close to the lava. Look at this. All that smoke's still up there. I 
I'm gonna step in and see what's gonna happen. Wish me luck. Si te sumes, thank you for letting me claim your life insurance. <laughs> And you know there's like smokes like feet away from you, right? I wouldn't trust every step. Can you believe that? Now she's stepping on lava. Dry lava. Dry lava, but it's lava. Well, it's lava. It is still lava. <laughs> All right. So today we actually got to We've see. We've been, let me, hold on. I gotta look at my phone and see what time we started this hike. Two hours and a half ago, we we've been out here, and um, we've completed two miles. So it's gonna be another two miles down. So that's four miles. But y'all, this is just you have to come out here and live it. Like it, there's it was nothing worth like it. this. Look at that. I'm so excited we came out here. I'm excited, but yet sad. If you're sad. contemplating on coming to Iceland, come, come. It's badass. It is, and this is only day one. It's only so day one. We're, we have we got more days to stay here, so we'll see what else we can do. I kind of like I could just sit out here and just watch this all day. I wouldn't mind even camping out here, just get a tent and just stay out here and just and see how it looks like when at nighttime when it glows. It's just really awesome, and I mean, you probably can't see it now, but in the horizon is the beach. It's the beach, not the beach, but it's the ocean. I don't even know what side this is. I don't know either. Labrador Sea, I think, is what it is. I don't know. I have to look. Time to head back down and okay. see. This is gonna be dark. It's gonna be dark when we get there. Because it's already we're five hours, four or five hours ahead of town. So. And I'm full of energy right now. <laughs> This is day one <laughs> of our van camp. This is our first night here in Iceland. No, we did tell y'all, but we did decide to do van life. As you can see, my hands up here. And this is Karina back here eating cheeses for dinner. Now we were gonna make some sopa or macaroni and cheese outside, but dang it got cold pretty quick i mean earlier throughout the day i was like oh, okay it feels good you know good temperature all right yeah we could picnic outside when we get done hiking but when we got done hiking it got so dark temperature just dropped and it so it's still slightly dusk i mean it's 10 13 right now i really think the chances of us seeing the northern lights has like decreased why do i look so white because the light here There you go. See, we still haven't unpacked yet, so we're basically gonna be um, crammed a little bit for the first night. So we don't. So we don't know if uh, if we're gonna make it like this. I am. I ain't gonna make it now. Showering. We can, I'm, I'm about to figure out where we can shower tomorrow. I cannot be day three without being showered. We only be here for day one. She said day three. You do the math. That's what I'm talking about tomorrow. I'm, boy, we had a whole travel day yesterday. We left the house at five. So eight. let me show y'all what how our van camp is based, you know, set up. So as you can see, we have covers, the seats on. We got covers on every windows. We got a little space up here to put our stuff. But like I said, we haven't packed, unpacked yet. We actually got a bed, and behind here is actually a little set they gave us where. You know, we could start cooking outside. They gave us some chairs, some tables, and bags on each side so we could put our clothes in. We're turning on, we're leaving the car on. So the guy told us here in 10 minutes we could turn it off and it'll just stay on heater mode for the rest of the night to keep us to keep us hot. Me and Karina, we love sleeping in cold. Don't get us wrong, we love it. So we were just kind of like talking each saying to each other, ah, it's not gonna be cold. I mean, we, we won't need the heater at all and all that. We love the cold. Well, this is a different type of cold. Hey guys, I wanted to share real quick that even though we are doing van life, there are still other ways for you to still shower, take care of business. And of course, uh, we have items like kitchen utensils and supplies for us to be able to eat on the go. So that has definitely helped us uh, save some money. So 
Don't think that we ain't showering, cause we are. Just got done showering and the water is hot, hot. I also wanted to add that these people respect the sun. These restrooms and the public showers have been one of the most clean places I've ever been taking care of business at. Like, it's crazy. This is a public campsite normally back at home when you go to campsites is some of the nastiest restrooms you've ever been in. It's not like that here, guys. It's not like that.